I have some exciting news for you guys today. I've launched a merch store for t-shirts with my personal favorite being this evolution tee. It's pretty cool. It kind of shows the evolution of a rock dude to end game with a launcher. Anyways, I'm linking the store in the description and you get 20% off if you use the code REST Academy. Without further ado, here's some raids. All right, guys, pretty interesting base today. This one's built into some rocks. He's got a secondary tower also for flanking. Auto turrets all over this thing, Sam sites. We're gonna have to be careful. I'm gonna set up my own turret and we're gonna blast into this compound. That turret is being a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna throw my turret all the way back here just because we don't have time to mess with that and rocket that turret out. It'll cost way too much attention. All right, yeah, I can't say that's gonna help much, but we'll see. Now, I think we're gonna beeline it to his compound and blast into that high external stone wall. Don't think that turret will have a chance to kill us. There we go. It looks like we're gonna have to blast out this high external wall just because it's blocking and I don't want to get shot down by an auto turret. Do hear a counter coming in right now. Let's go ahead and see where the heck these walls go since we already damaged them with that high wall. Okay, just into some honeycomb. Well, we're already going deep in here, so let's just continue to rocket. We'll send eight more rockets. Oh my gosh, this thing became armored? Up top here, all sheet metal still. Garage door. And some armored two by one squares there. I wonder if the loot could be here. Can we head towards that side? I don't know why the heck they would armor this off, unless there's loot. It's a hard side armor wall. Holy frick, bro. Oh my god. Christmas lights? Coffins? TC? Let's go, boys. Oof. We're just gonna have to rocket this for now. I wonder if that was the owner. Gear sets? I think we just found the hidden loot room, boys. 52 tech trash? Oh my god, this thing was completely armored off, dude. 2C4, let's go. Six rockets. Need to see a lot more to profit. Um, TC was back here somewhere. M249. And TC's got 20k sulfur and 134 explosives. Let's go. 1600 GP. We did use a solid amount of C4 there. Nearly 20 C4 was used and about 13 rockets. So. We're probably gonna be a bit under breaking even just because of how well built this loot room was. Other than that armored ceiling up there totally gave it away. Would not have come this way if we didn't see those ceilings armored off, but they kind of gave away their hidden loot. Either way, we'll take it and I'll look for another base hopefully we can profit off of. I can't imagine this next base taking that many C4, but it's piqued my interest because there's two naked sleepers just straight chilling on the twig ceilings. How has nobody killed these guys yet? Armored wall there in the center. Loot looks to be in the center core.
but he's still using some stone ceilings here on the edge. I think we should send four rockets on any of the sides of these base and we'll see what happens after there. Hopefully it's not armored. Oh, it is armored. Kind of jinxed myself on that one. We've got enough to do an armored wall though, so we'll go straight to the center. It's our third sleep, fourth sleeper, five sleepers. Garage door left open, furnaces. 13 tax rush in there, 253 explosive ammo. It's a shotgun trap. Let's go ahead and send rockets onto these armored doors. I only had two rockets left, so we'll have to use explosive ammo. Coffins completely empty. Building materials. What the heck, there's not much in here at all. Do they have anything in the furnaces? Okay, some metal. Other than that, man, completely empty. We've got one door left. Ten satchels. And this door is gonna take two C4. Okay, there's TC. And this seems to be the main loot room in here. Let's see what they got. Here's some of their components. Locked box, there's also a locked box here, but it had nothing in it. My gosh, these guys broke as heck, dude. There we go, 7C4, 18 rockets. That pays for the entire raid. Let's go. And for TC, can we get some sulfur? All right, 30K sulfur, not bad, 10K GP. For the base size, man, that's pretty much a jackpot. They had way more than that first base we raided. Definitely goes to show some of the smaller bases are gonna have more loot than the bigger bases. Definitely on top after that raid, maybe we can squeeze in one more medium or small raid before we end today's video. All right, guys, I'm just following the barricades here to our next raid, which is this stone base. It's kind of a circular design. Twig on the front, so he's still upgrading. Could be online in there. This thing is only one, and I want to say one and a half stories tall. Let's just go ahead and pop straight down into the center using some C4. It's gonna be sheet metal. A few rockets here should do the trick. Okay, armored in the center. What do we got? Oof. This dude actually a pretty smart builder. It's a garage door there. Do we even have enough to do an armored wall? Barely. Let's see what we can do here with some rockets, MGL rounds, and explosives. And TC's behind this one. Let's go. He's only got 2k sulfur, 2k GP. Not looking good, boys. Literally, this base was like the most secure out of all these bases we've raided today. And it was the smallest. 
So I don't think we're gonna get some profit on this one. We'll see, two rockets. Um, yeah, let's see where this garage door goes. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna call it there on this one. This dude is freaking solo, and we've already used everything we have, basically. Shout out to the small freaking base build, dude. Way stronger than all the other bases I've raided. Nice job, my dude. I'll see you guys tomorrow in some more raids.